Okay, so this first question asks us to work out what the probability is for somebody attending in a, ho a hotel, okay, and their room basically being a prime number, okay? And this hotel has 19 possibilities or 19 rooms, okay? So, and if we list down the prime numbers, so it's 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Um, so the prob probability that the first room allocated to the first guest is a prime number is going to be 8, because there's 8 prime numbers out of the 19 possibility, um, 19 possibility, possible rooms, okay? Now, the next question is, what is the probability that the next guest gets a prime number room, okay? So this time, instead of the 19 original possibilities, we have got 18 possibilities, because one room has been taken, okay? So, um, the probability that it will be prime again is going to be 7 over 18, okay? Now, next question, basically, a person has got a bowl of fruits, okay? Three apples, four bananas, two pears, and one orange. The probability that's going to be a banana is going to be 4 over 10, which is equal to 2 fifths. Then the question asks us, what's the probability that's going to be a mango? Okay, well, let's have a look at the original list. We can think, oh, well, there's no mangoes there. So it's going to be 0 out of 10, which is 0. Okay, so those are those questions. Right, next question in uh, the exam questions in chapter 8. It asks us, okay, a, a tetrahedron, okay, which is a four sided um, object, okay, has. Um, got these sides with a 1, a 2, a 3, and a 4 on it, okay? And then it shows us a table, okay, gives, giving us the numbers and then the probability that for each number to fall, fall down on, okay? First one, 1 is 2 over 9, 2 is 1 third, 3 is 5 18 and 4 is 1 6. Okay, ask us to copy and complete the table, and then asks us to make the last row, um, to have the probabilities to have the same common denominator. So see what I've done here. Basically, I've made 18 as this as this, as a common denominator because 18 is a multiple of of uh, nine, three, and six. Okay. So I've just done times two to top and bottom here. So to two and nine gives me four eighteen. At times six to top and bottom gives me six over eighteen. Times uh, three to top and bottom gives me three over eighteen. Okay. Then it asks us which face is most likely to fall, um, the die is it most likely to fall on? Well it's 2 because if we look at it, well, 2 is 6 over 18, it's got the largest common denominator. Okay. Right, um, what is the probability for all of them? Uh, if, if we add up all the, poss all, all the probabilities, it's going to be 18 over 18. Okay? We just added um, all the numerators together. Okay, um, but all always in all all scenarios, it's always going to be one. Okay, so but all probabilities add up to one. Right. Next question. It says, what is the probability that it does not land on phase three? So if we look at phase three, the probability is five over eighteen. Right. Now you can do this two ways. You can actually add up the probabilities of the other faces, which is 4 over 18 plus 6 over 18 plus 3. So we could add up 4 plus 6 plus 3 should give us 13 over 18. However, the method I've done here is basically I've said up to, to find the probability of not 3, I'm going to say 1 minus the probability of 3, which is um, 18 over 18, which I rewrite as 1, okay, or I've rewritten uh, from 1, minus 5 over 18 gives me 13 over 18. So I get the same answer uh, for both methods, okay? Right, now in Switzerland it says that the probability that it will rain on the 1st of September is 5 twelfths, okay? Now, 
And then it asks us what's the probability that it will not rain. The same principle as the last question, we can do 1 minus the probability that it will rain. So that's going to be 1 minus 5 over 12, which can be rewritten as 12 over 12 minus 5 over 12, which gives us 7 over 12. Okay? Right, next question. This person has two black cards and one red card and basically asks us to list all the possibilities of placing the cards down, okay? So, we've got red, black, black, we have black, red, black, we have black, black, red, okay? So that's the answer to that question. Next bit, it asks us, what's the probability that all the blacks are placed next to each other? So we can see here, uh, with a tick, there's one possibility there and the one at the bottom. So the probability that both blacks are together it's going to be 2 out of the 3 possibilities, 2 out of 3. Now, this next question, it says, Josh and Salmik take a coin at random out of their pockets and add the totals together to get an amount. Josh has two $1 coins, a 50 cent coin, a $5 coin and three 20 cent coins in his pocket. Salmik, on the other hand, has three $5 coins, a $2 coin and three 50 cent pieces. And the first question is draw up a possibility diagram to show all the possible outcomes for the sum of the two coins. Now, I have already done this for you. It is time consuming. Now, it, they could ask you this in the exam. So just be aware that this is a possibility diagram and it's showing all the possible outcomes. So Josh has got seven possible coins. Okay, and Salmik has also got seven possible coins. So the total possible outcomes, okay, or possibilities, sorry, is going to be seven times seven, which is 49, okay? So when it says, so the next question is, what is the probability that the coins will add up to six? Well, let's look at how many numbers add up to six. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six is six. So this, so that means, sorry, um, the probability uh, they add up to 6 is going to be 6 over 49 because there's 6 uh, poss um, ones that we're looking for and then out of the 49 possible ones. Next question, what is the probability that the coins will add up to less than 2? Okay, so let me just uh, yeah, make sure you can see this. Okay, so uh, they add up to less than 2. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Those are the only ones that I can see add up to less than 2. Okay, so again, the probability that the less than $2 is going to be 18 out of 49. Last one, what is the probability that the coins will add up to $5 or more? Okay, so let's have a look. We have 550 here, so 1, 2, 3, 7 there, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, okay? So, that means the probability that there are $5 or more is going to be 25 over 49. Okay, now lastly, it says in your exam questions and the past paper questions, it says a bag of 30 sweets contains 8 chocolates, 30 nuggets, 9 toffees. Right, a sweet is selected at random, and then what is the probability? that it is a toffee. So the probability that it's a toffee is going to be 9 out of 30. Because if we add, add it up 8 plus 13 plus 9, it would give us 30. So it's going to be 9 out of 30, which can be simplified to 3 over 10, okay? Which is um, equal to 30%, okay? 0.3. Now, as I said, if you left it as 3 over 10, that's perfectly fine. And that's the end of probability.